This is a problem that involves constant acceleration, so I've already taken the time to write out the three main equations we use for uh, constant acceleration when dealing with motion. So the problem is specifically asking how long the runway needs to be, which is really just a fancy way of saying how far does the plane need to travel as it's going along this acceleration. So what we're really looking for here is the delta x term in the, the series of equations we have over here. So let's go over the, the starting variables that the problem gives to us. So we assume that the plane accelerates to this from rest, so the initial velocity I'll say is zero, and it needs to accelerate to 35 meters per second. And it mentions that the acceleration of the plane is presumably 3.0, meters per second squared. I guess it's not presumably, the problem literally tells us that. So, And we want to use these variables to find delta x. So as usual, we want to choose an equation that has the variable we're looking for, so we can immediately rule out this first one, since it doesn't mention delta x, and we want one that has all the variables we're given, which includes the, the acceleration, both do, the initial velocity, both do, and the final velocity, which only the third one does, and the second one does not. So we'll want to use the equation for v squared, which tells us that it's equal to v naught squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the change in position. And we want to solve for the change in position, because that's what the problem is asking for. So we'll just use some algebra to solve for delta x, and the first thing I'm going to do is subtract both sides of the equation by v naught squared so that we end up with the term containing delta x on its own. But to get delta x itself on its own, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 2a. So what we end up with is a formula telling us that the change in position is equal to v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2 times the acceleration. So all that's left to do is to plug these numbers into a calculator, and we find that the, uh, the, uh, the distance that the plane needs to travel is equal to about 204 meters under this acceleration. And that is our answer to the problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have further problems, requests for them, uh, I have a Discord server down below if you would like to make requests and maybe talk with other people on the server about problems you may be struggling with. So that is all for this video, and I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.